Peace to the family. It's Brother Polite, and we're here for another installment on our IG Live to just tell you simply, haters think about winners, and winners think about winning. You know my motto, I'm too smart to be broken. It costs way too much to be poor. I just want to really talk to you. Do not allow 2020 to seep into 2021. Now, 2020 may have been great for a few of us, but it hasn't been great for most of us. And so with the imposed vaccines that's coming, with the rappers being incarcerated or being murdered left and right, and uh, uh, that's just amongst a host of different things, I want to talk to you about making this money. Be sure to share this video because we would like to believe everything's going to hell. But I just want to talk to you guys about the sauce. Let me talk to you about the sauce. Cause I got the sauce and people want to play like it ain't what it is. But let's take a look. So here's a brother, you know. He, oh, yeah, let's go here. Black market. Thank you, my nephew. This my oh, uncle yeah. made some we bread. We know here now that those Bitcoins are looking love, lovely. Bitcoin's up 19K. So you know I had a few of those coins when they were low. But no, yeah. But you know your nephew. Yeah. When I grow up, I'm going to be just like you. <laughs> That's my uncle talking. Yeah, this ain't no... This ain't no monopoly. Because, you know, people always want to know, was anybody in his family eating? Then when they find out people in your family making money, they make, well, those people don't count as black people. Is anybody else making money with them? Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Frank, and I'm doing this video just to give a special thanks to Brother Polite for the Golden and Crisis course that I purchased for $100. And literally, I have made thousands of dollars Let's see proof. this course. Let me just show you a little proof so that you can see. This is in the past past week. The past week, I made $10,000 off, off of a $100 investment? Come on, now you better go and get that right now. Go and get the Golden and Crisis and the Crypto and Forex trading. You know, I'm, I'm in... What's going on, everyone? My name is Jonathan Almeida. I'm here to let you know about my blessings due to Brother Polite. Took his classes. It's called Gold and the Crisis. Best investment I ever did. I paid only a hundred dollars to get in, and I made eight thousand dollars in two days. Best investment I ever did. My name is Jonathan Almeida. I go by Organic Poppy or IG. This guy has been amazing to me, hands down. I don't never met. This John Q. Mitchell from Hillside, New Jersey. I took Brother for Light class around mid-March. Um, I made about $7,000 over the course of two and a half months. I also purchased a couple other books, uh, Stocks and Blondes. How you doing? My name is Sharifi Newman. I'm from Harlem, New York. 144 from Zag, you know what I mean? Yo, this is when I first started. Only Brother for Light class is Go to the Crisis. Shouts out to that class. That's what I said. I started over 500. And that's what I came with. Now look at my account. All of Brother Polite teachings. Gold in the crisis. I mean, it's so dope. Look at that down. I never did stocks before in my life. This is never in my life. I learned straight off them. I Love to the universe. I'm Tim from Violent, New Jersey. I paid $99 for the Gold in the Crisis course. And within one day, my account shot up over $400. Talk to me nice. Now I wake up every day saying I'm too smart to be broke. That's right. Because I know pennies are for millionaires and houses are the new credit cards. Elubu, perpetual success. Peace. So, you know, just want to talk to you guys, right? Because. Oh, this guy's celebrating. He made $5,740, so, you know, he started partying. This is today. CIDM, something that I called out months ago. CIDM, he has made over $5,000 today, almost $6,000. Let's go to this guy here, made $353. No, don't get bored now, because people, you know, we like to share gossip. We like to share rumors. I did this for 90 days plus straight. Took a month and a half off, came back like I never left, and I'm posting every single day again the amount of money that I'm making for my people. I am the stimulus check. Join my Forex trade and cryptocurrency class. Join my gold in the crisis. We're coming up on the last class. We're doing the last dance. It's just facts. 
Don't tell me about, oh yeah, this guy, he's also doing socks trading. Show me the receipts. Show me the videos. Show me the screenshots. And be consistent like Brother Polite where I do it every single day. You go to class Sunday, you're guaranteed making money. Monday through Friday. Monday comes out the gate and everybody's posting their receipts. Stop playing. Who's doing it like this? Here go another person. Tim the Ruler, 856. He made almost $3,000 this past week. Look at that. And I always make sure you guys got the name of the person so you could track them down. Look at this. Made $400. Look at this. You are the truth. I'm making money. Look at that. Dub Crawford. This one's from Facebook, so I make it clear. Look for him on Facebook. Made over $400. Ooh, watch this. Pastor Nathan Johnson from Facebook made $616. Made off a riot. We making money off of riots like these slick ass p politicians. I'll see you in the crypto course. If you're in the crypto class, you're going to know about these riots. You're going to understand the science of these riots. $616.24. Come on, talk to me nice. Talk to me nice. Look at this guy, Rod Williams from Facebook, still making SRNE money. Because I don't be posting my Facebook brothers and sisters, but yeah, he made over a band. Okay, he made over a band. Talk to me mm -hmm. nice. Just showing you guys how this thing go, how the game go. Jason Day from Facebook, $1,651. Look at that. Talk to me nice. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. Look at this guy. Look at this guy over here. 31 contracts, blood all over the floor. $4,800 made. $4,800 plus made. You got his name right there. Nothing better to do. You got his name. <laughs> Check him out. Ask him questions. Interrogate him, if you will. Go in the crisis. In the money text. That's right. The text notifications I send out. So long as you join membership, you good money. Moderna made him $1,405. When you get a text from Brother Polite, it's money. I don't know what your text look like when, when your friends and your family hit you up. But when Brother Polite sends you a text, money's going to be made. Look at him. He running with the bag. We get in this bag. Congrats. See you in class Sunday. I will see you in class Sunday. You already know. Let's do this. Nothing better to do. Back at it again. $2,201 was made for his today's return. Over $2,000 made when he woke up. In a few minutes, he made this money. Blood all over the floor. Contract killer. He bought 31 contracts. Let's not play games. Oh, look at this. $5,000 made. I hope you all are ready for the last stocks classes. This is what he said. This is his name on the website. Let's not play games. Uh, uh, is this boring? See him. Our people make money. Our people always complain we ain't making enough money. Ain't no real leaders out here. You acting like the pastor driving a Rolls Royce. No, 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 no. The pastor don't show you how to make money. Don't ever compare me to any of these people. There's another guy who, you know, he doesn't charge you for class. And he doesn't show you receipts like Brother Polite either. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo, our people be doing this book. <laughs> Yo, $6,159 made. Talk to me nice. He made that. Says I'm the GOAT. I said he ain't never lie. He said get into the crypto class. See you this Sunday. Look at that, brother Polite. You the GOAT. Already bought XRP too. We in the money. Just giving you today's winnings, earnings. Look at this guy. $2,229 made. I will see you in class Sunday. Congrats. Look at that money made. You the man, brother Polite. God bless you. Come on now. I, I, it hit different. I, you know, brothers be hitting you with the God bless you when they making this bread. I dig it. I totally get it. On one contract. On one contract. Look at this guy. Made $10,000. When he woke up. He made $12,351 total. His name is Mike with two E's underscore Lou. L-E-W. You check him out. These are real people. Check this out. $10,000 made. What are we really talking about here? Hey, check this guy out. I be fam F. Check this guy out. This is today, people. Just to keep it a thousand. This is today. He made over two thousand dollars today. This is today. Tom, congrats. See you in class Sunday. I don't play these kind of games. I'll see you in the trading. The we go on digital wealth in the pandemic trading cryptocurrency and forex. I'll see you in class Sunday. I'll see you guys in my UCC and real estate class tomorrow. I'll see you in a holistic mathematics class tomorrow. But on Sunday, I will see you in the Forex Trade and Cryptocurrency course because we got money to be made. Because we learn on the weekends and we make money on the weekdays.
And yo, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys for the last dance. Be there for the last gold in the crisis class. The class is making all this money for people. The extension of that is the Forex trading cryptocurrency class. I'm showing you how to make money with that too now. But purchase the last dance. You swipe up. Look at this. This is the Instagram right here. You're going to learn about. I'm going to give you over 10 new stock notifications. Not just the text. You're going to still get the text during the week as a member. If you join membership, all you got to do is click the word membership when you go to brotherpolite.com and you get money. But for the last class, I'm giving you over 10 new stock notifications. Showing you how to basket trade. Okay. Options trading. But not just that. I'm showing you new contract killing methods and dividend investing. Back on my bullshit, you heard? I took a month and a half off and I'm back here making sure everybody's making money on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, you can still make money from the older classes. Information is timeless because I'm showing you strategy. I'm showing you confluence trading. I'm showing you common sense, current events, and calculation, the three C's. So I'm just saying, I ain't gonna sit here and wait for people to give me my goddamn credit. I ain't gonna do it. Show me somebody doing what I do. Because if you're walking with me day to day, you see I post these receipts every day. If you're walking with me, you know I was posting for 90 plus days straight. That's three months straight. I post non-stop receipts of people making money. So Negroes want to be like, oh, everybody got text notifications now. But everybody ain't got my results because I don't send notifications out every single day. Because that's not, that's not realistic because you send out notifications every single day. That means people are going to make money, lose money, lose money, make money. Then that means you're just sending any damn thing out. What's the glory in that? When I send out notifications, take it to the goddamn bank. Now, sometimes I count my money live. Some of it. Oh, here's a nigga. Uh. Sometimes I'm driving my nice cars, doing my damn thing. Because you need to see I'm making the money that I teach about. But the glory is when I show you my students are also making that money. And they spend it as they will. I'm the stimulus check. I came in the middle of this damn pandemic. Early in the pandemic, actually, not in the middle. And I said, man, I'm going to teach them about the gold in the crisis. Then I'm going to take you guys to Forex. Those of you that's in my class... What did your money do with XRP? Because I taught y'all this during Golden Crisis before I even did the cryptocurrency class, which is still relatively new. I was telling y'all about XRP when it was 20 cents. And that shit went over 80 cents. Then I told you, cash out a little bit. It'll drop. Buy it back in. I'll show you how to play the game. Because you know, stocks take the stairs going up, take the window going down. Cryptocurrency is another phenomenon. Yet, a lot of things are reminiscent. I told you about Ethereum when it was less than $200. I was actually telling people about Ethereum when it was 64 but it's okay. In Golden Crisis, you guys know, when I started the class, I said, this won't be about crypto, but let me give you some crypto highlights. Do this now. When we close class, we'll get the crypto. Now that thing over $600, are you kidding me? I told you about Stellar Lumen. XLM, I told you about it. That's a fact. People that made five times their money, four times their money, three times their money on my crypto. Insights, lessons, notifications, and we just getting started. I'll see you guys in class Sunday. Well, my thing is this. I'm back on my bulls. <laughs> and when I say it's a double entendre, so I'm not back on some bullshit. I'm back on my bullshit. Like, we keep winning over and over and over. I take some time off. I come back and I keep winning. I'm back on my bullshit. There's no reason you shouldn't get up on that bullshit. That is to say, be winners continuously, perpetually. It is our responsibility. We come from a long line of oppressed brothers and sisters. And to have this information at our disposal, to have this information available to us on to this day and still make excuses for why we're impoverished, why we're being held back, and somebody's actually sharing information and proving on a day-to-day -day basis, not a month-to-month, -month, which would be nice, on a day-to-day -day basis. You ain't got nobody posting not one video talking about, yo, I've lost money with Brother Polite. Not one video. Been doing this damn thing, what, 
eight months now? You still ain't got nobody talking crazy. But let a rumor come out. They spread it like wildfire. But how come the people so concerned about black people not being taken advantage of also are now reposting black people making thousands of dollars with one man's teachings consistently on a day to day basis, nonstop posting receipts? I'm not just showing you I made money off the stocks. I'm showing you you're making money off the stocks and you're not the only one. But that just goes to show you how much of our people really ain't shit. It's going to happen after slavery. A lot of our people won't be shit. They ain't going to share and post the good news. They ain't going to tell me, yo, you got to humble yourself. So exercise humility is to have a lower estimation of one's own importance. No, I'm extremely important to the community. I'm extremely important. So I'm not going to be humble about it. Get your ass in class. I'm not going to be humble about it. Fuck, I got to be humble about it. I'm making bread during a crisis. And I brought my people with me. And I show and prove. And those are excerpts of some testimonies. The first two brand new. Another two of them you might have seen. The other ones, oh, just straight. Combine them. Do, 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 do. Let me mix them up. Because I got a whole new testimonial video coming out with new people, brothers and sisters. Because I told you when I come back to teach, after I take my break off and fuck some money off and play around, I told you for my entanglement. When I get out of my entanglement, took a half month longer than I expected. I planned to be in entanglement for a month. Took me a month and a half. Grand. That's when I was on the other bullshit. I said, yo, when I get back, I'm not content with you guys making 100, 200, 300 dollars. I'm okay with the new people coming in doing that, but I got enough students in the golden crisis and just really right now in the Forex trading and cryptocurrency class with us already making money. I said, yo, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I said, yo, we're going to make this bread. Shout out to my man Lamborghini, AP. You got to tap in, King, because you next to me. You ain't got no business not tapping it. That's real talk. Don't got my number on speed dial king and don't tap in. That's a fact. The entanglement was epic though. You already know, AP. <laughs> AP pulled up at the entanglement. You already know. Shout out to my brother Mayweather who flew in private jet from his own jet, Air Mayweather. And pulled up. I try, I did everything in my power to pay that man. Come through. He said, I can't take money from you. You family. I'm like, brother, I can't have you do stuff for me for free that you get paid for. You family. And then back and forth, back and forth. Now, I can't do it. I may need you for something one day, polite. I can't charge you. I'm, I just feel good, comfortable knowing I gave you. And I have the money to give you. Because I, I want people to feel like just because they wealthy... I expect a handout. That's how I am. I'm going to pay you the same way somebody else would pay you. But he refused it. And he still pulled up to my birthday party. He said, why would you pay your friend? Because my friend gets paid to show up to party. So why would I respect him and still pay him too? But he said he couldn't do it. Shout out to my brother Mayweather. I still even released the video clips of the entanglement in Bel Air. <laughs> it's a great time. AP, he was definitely in the building. He's definitely in the building. Say I don't support black folks, but I guess if they're wealthy, they don't count. Oh, I would never put a man's name on my chest. You Negroes are fucking crazy. One minute you complaining because I'm driving a Rolls Royce and that's the white man. Put a, put a black man's brand on. I would never put a man's name on my chest. Like, it's always something with you crazy people, man. I see you in the comments. You're nuts. He's one of my motivations. That's family. I'm a fan. And he's my motivation. He's one of them. he's my favorite person in media, actually. So I'm just blessed to actually be able to meet him and, and connect and establish this type of friendship. But needless to say, I love you guys. I love you guys tremendously. Let's not make excuses. Let's stop making excuses. Let's not let 2020 sneak into 2021.
Because if you think, oh, just because January 1st marks the beginning of the new year, the bullshit stops and a new year comes up. Oh, you think a lot of you somehow program when January 1st comes, all the trouble will leave and money will be back in. That's not how it works. It's going to be a dog fight in 2021. Oh, yeah, they're coming out with a vaccine so life should go back to normal. Actually, things are going to get a lot worse before they get better. This is a fact. And <laughs> back to the money. Brotherpolite.com is right there. I pinned it to the top. I'll see you in the UCC and real estate class tomorrow, which is Saturday. The holistic mathematics class. What good is all this money if you're too sick to enjoy it or you're too sick to amass the wealth? From the time you are born, you are dying. So let's contemplate about our mortality, shall we? The time to money ratio stipulates you can lose money and you can get it back. But you can't lose time and get it back. The time to money ratio says you can pay attention, but you never get a refund. So if you spend your time listening to gossip and rumors, you can never get a refund for the time spent. Time to money ratio. If you get into an argument with somebody, your lover, your spouse, significant other, your friend or whatever, understand that person must be worth a lot to you, must be worth a lot to you because you can never get the time back. From the time you're born, you're racing against a clock that you can't see. Called your death, not your life. Because we get this intimation because we get taller that we're getting younger. And then when your spine starts to curve, you start getting shorter, so it appears you think you're getting older. No, you're getting older from the time you leave the womb. You're dying the second you make your exit out of the womb. Second you enter into this world, it's all about death. And those of us that are more cognizant of the fact that every day is one less day, every minute is one less minute, every hour is one less hour. We spend our time wisely because there's no refunds for the time we spend. There's no refunds for the time that we spend. Don't let somebody entice you. Don't be enticed. We got to be accountable. Don't be enticed by arguing with somebody because you can never get that hour back. The distraction that that becomes for a day or two, you can never get that back. They just grab two days out of your life. And probably to no avail because they can't do nothing with it either. Be careful arguing. Limit the amount of friends you have. Cut the fat. The more friends you have, the more obligation you have to help someone pay their debt, pay their bill. Their car broke down. You have a little bit more than them. You almost feel this eerie false sense of obligation to have to help them even though you still have to help yourself. Baby showers, holidays, my goodness. Every time you turn around, there's another damn holiday. You gotta play Mr. and Mrs. Claus and buy everybody gifts and then it's a baby shower. Negroes keep making babies, god damn, I gotta keep buying gifts. This is the hood for you. No one can survive under these circumstances. Cut the fat. A friend is one who's willing to invest in you or one you're willing to invest in. Look on your phone and see if that reciprocity takes place. Look on your phone and see if your friends make you money or if you make them money. Look and see if there's a mutually beneficial relationship there. It doesn't necessarily have to be money, but it has to be some kind of exchange. Don't let people trick you into thinking you shouldn't use people. Everybody should be getting used. If you're not able to be used, you're not resourceful. You're not a resource. You're not something that people could tap back into a source over and over. You're not a source several times over. If you're a source, you should be resourceful. You should be full of people sourcing you for data, for wealth, some kind of knowledge of some sort. I be wanting to do a podcast, but then... 
I be spending all this money, man. I don't, that, that ain't really me. I like enjoying my days. And classes be already having me obligated like crazy. So it's tricky. I think about it all the time, but it's tricky. Yeah, so it sounds selfish, right? But your life is your responsibility, meaning responsibility, your ability to respond. That's your life. Your life is your responsibility. You have to limit the amount of people you speak with because most of them are liabilities. Probably all of them, they'll keep it a thousand. Starting from your parents to your friends to your, to your siblings. Spiritual path is the lonely one and so is the successful path. So is the successful path. You gotta pick your poison. At least just one. You can't have two poisons in this lifetime. You definitely never make it. Pick your poison. The best poison you can pick is love and it's very dangerous. It's a kryptonite nonetheless. Hey baby. <laughs> the best poison you could pick might be to be in love. Because there always stands an opportunity for the person you love to destroy you. Whatever form of love it may be. That's kryptonite. But you don't need two. You can't afford to be on drugs. Kryptonite. Drink alcohol. Kryptonite. Be full of luster. Kryptonite. You're tricking on every woman you see. You got to go to strip club. You got to throw your money away. Now you, now you don't know how to pay your rent. You got mistresses. And you know you can't really bring them home. You know you're not religious. So you got to kind of lie. And buy hotels. And treat them better than your wife. And. It's costing you more money than it catches up with you and your wife wants something eventually. And don't let your wife find out. God damn, she's getting the vacation. But nah, you know, because I had to sneak. That's why I got to make it good when I see her. See, all that stuff, you'll never be successful if you have no discipline. Those are all poisons. That's all kryptonite. It's all kryptonite. You can't have more than one kryptonite. You only can have one in this lifetime. If you're doing coke lines, my nigga... That's the only thing you could afford to do. <laughs> I hope you want that. This shit sounds crazy, right? But you can't be on coke lines and in a strip club at the same time and can't control yourself. You can't have two. You only can have one kryptonite. Your wife could be your kryptonite. It's good to have a kryptonite in front of you. So love is the best kryptonite because it challenges you to be disciplined enough to walk away from it or to work things out but you got to make that decision you got to have the ability to discern so that's a form of poison that can be turned into a medicine like they take snake poison and come up with medicine right so that's the poison love is fucking poison love is poisonous you ask any two people on the fucking planet what love is they don't have a clue you ask them what the hell money is they know they almost agree or they do agree. Ask them where the table is. They probably agree. Ask them where the bus or a car is. They agree. Love is so ambiguous. No matter how much definitions we could go to in the dictionary, still nobody gives a damn. It's one of the few words on planet Earth that when you look it up, guess what? It's defined and people still don't give a damn about the definition. It's one of those words that despite the fact it's in the dictionary, no one cares. What the meaning is. No, this is what it means to me. To another kryptonite, it's religion. Because that bullshit that have your mind so fucked, you'll be questioning if you should make this money or what you should do with the money when you get the money. Yo, you're dying, bro. Like, you gotta, sis, you're dying. You don't have to be dying from cancer. You don't have to be dying from diabetes. You could be dying from what they call life. Life really comes after this. That's why if you believe in life after death, then it's a testament that this is death because life comes after. You're dying from life. You're actually dying. Oh, he's dying from cancer. Oh, don't worry. We're all dying anyway. <laughs> it's just the way you're going to die. So the investment that you make at time money ratio, you invest in your health, holistic mathematics, the course, you invest in your health in hopes that you could prolong the inevitable, which is the death. So I'm only here to mask my death. When you come to terms with the fact that you're dying and you consider 
or reevaluate your own mortality. What it then happen is you drive safer, you become less reckless, you argue less because you realize seconds, minutes, and hours is being snatched out of your life because of your own reckless abandonment. But we don't want to think about death because it scares us. But if we come to terms with the fact that it's inevitable, and just because I'm getting taller doesn't mean I'm not dying yet, then what we'll start doing is saying, how much can I get out of this existence before I go? And because we're racing against a clock, we'll move more efficiently, we'll study a whole lot more faster, we'll take our lives a lot more serious, and we'll stop bullshitting with people and passing time with drinking and smoking and fornicating, you know, having as much sex as we possibly can when it is available, maybe even compromising, probably you definitely shouldn't have sex with that person, but you still did. Like, all that is confusion. But then your wife or your husband can be the one. Your kryptonite, your poison. They're not actually making you better, they're making you angry every single day. It's destroying your creativity. Do so you got it in you to walk away and find someone that's in conformity with your vision? Because it's great to be in love if love is law, family is business. Because under that pretense, when you love, you have to devote yourself. You have to conduct selfless acts. So you have a child, you have a wife, and you do for your family. This is what makes a lot of women callous. They want the door open for them. Shivery, right? They want the door open for them. Hey, you ain't open up the door for me, right? And there's nothing wrong with going to way open up the door for your woman, even if you have a place to go eat. Expediently, you gotta get the freak out of there. She's expecting you to still open the door. That's bullshit. I'm gonna just say it for the record, but hey, I'm not mad at nobody who goes out their way to open up the door even if they're running late. I still have to prove this to somebody? I think it's bullshit, but women have the right to accept it. It's okay. What I'm saying, I don't, I don't play with the illusions on planet Earth. I don't fuck with the illusions. If there's some shit that gotta be done, today's chivalry is on hold. If I got a $3,000 jacket and I'm not throwing it on the floor so you can walk over a pedal, motherfucker jump. <laughs> or let's walk around that bitch. <laughs> Yo, seriously, all jokes aside, we go too far. So the problem is, relationships should demand of you to contribute selfless acts of love with or without a child involved. Because selfless acts of love make you disciplined because it makes you put others before yourself in balance. Some people are suckers, so they put others before themselves because they got insecurity issues, low self-esteem. But for powerful people filled with esteem, it's our balance to conduct selfless acts of love and put our children or our significant other before us while still pursuing our goals. It helps us learn how to manage this income to expense ratio. That's what that is. But if you're not commissioning yourself to do anything out your way for someone else, there's chemical imbalance. And therefore you'll overcompensate when you do get some money or do get some opportunity. Or you become an entitled individual. You get a false sense of entitlement because you want so much given on to you just because you are a woman or whatever that you think you are as a man or female that it defeats your ability to network, connect with people, to contribute, to have balance for reciprocity. So women are at a huge disadvantage because they should be worshipped and they should be praised. But some of them only recognize what they should get. Meanwhile, the man is in his head. If he's in his right mind, I should be providing as much as I possibly can for a woman. I want to give her as much as she needs. So the men are actually at an advantage. That's why most of them are more successful than females. As far as like powerful people in the world. More women are successful than men at a lower level. More men are successful than women at the higher level. I hope this makes sense. They going women going to be able to get a, a a nice paying job below 100,000 in or around. When the money gets bigger, less women are going to make that money, more men are going to make that. Hope it makes sense. Okay? So this false sense of entitlement. And yes, you're great, you're queen, you're empress, you're everything. All of this is true. All of this is true. 
But if you're not commissioned to do something for other than yourself and you just expect everything to come to you, then you won't work for it. And then when you do have to work for it, the second you have to struggle or get some adversity, you'll cry. You'll complain or you'll expect someone to just participate and contribute. Or you'll say stupid shit like, I don't need nobody help. I don't need no man, right? But you actually need help from someone because if you get a job from the white man, you needed the white man. So you, you just be specific. I don't, you don't want the help of a black man. But you ain't gonna work a job by a white man and say you don't need no man. You need the white man. Of course you do. So sisters have to be careful. Though you should be praised, acknowledged, embraced, worshipped. You should be catered to. You still must find a place in this world where you have to work. You need balance. You should be commissioned to a certain level of discipline. It's just real talk. That's another conversation. But go to brotherpolite.com, get your stock course, make your bread, and let the games begin. The games don't begin until you start making money. You don't know who you really are until you make enough money. Then you can find out if, if you're full of shit. When you make enough money, you find out if you're really going to cheat because you got the money to cheat properly. You got the money to cover up lies. You got to make enough money to find out who you really are, though. Make enough money, you know, you could have bought some children. By the hundreds, if you're really cooking. When you have enough money, you find out who you really are. See if you actually are still a family man or family woman when you make enough money. See if you have any discipline. See if your morality changes. The hell with buying a nice car. Everybody should get a nice car. A very nice car. I want everyone to have a very nice car. Very nice. Yo, listen. My whole goal is to make sure everyone can make enough money that they can buy a bunch of shit they don't really need. If we're not on the planet to be on that type of time, you need not join the course. Because I'm not over here to teach you how to make a little 100 or $200. I'm over here to make sure you can fuck some money off. That's my goal. My goal is to make sure you make enough money that you can buy some unnecessary shit for your wife. Buy some unnecessary shit for your husband. Buy some unnecessary Things for your children. Buy an unnecessarily bigger house. An unnecessarily expensive car. If you're not on that time, I ain't fucking with you. Because I'm not about to have no one tell me I need to feel guilty for that while other people are starving. There's ways to contribute to everyone. And we as a collective can solve the problem. You're not going to put the whole problem on my shoulders and say I got to give up all of my money and, and live subpar. That ain't about to happen. I have so many ancestors that's been... Living vicariously through me that enjoy every luxury vehicle, every unnecessary expensive meal, every place that I travel around the world. My ancestors love and adore me. They live in me. They embrace it. We, we struggled for way too long to turn around and then purposely make ourselves struggle for a group of fucking people that don't want to do the research, don't want to study. They want to see if it works with me. And then when it works, I need to go and teach them after I done made the struggle. Now I'm in a progression. You're still in the struggle. Now I am supposed to enjoy myself for the rest of my existence. I could be gone tomorrow. I'm not going to get the best that I can get out of this existence. See how this car really feels. Why is it different? Why is it better? Is it, does it really, should it really be that much more than the other cars? Everything's overpriced. That's a fact. Everything's overpriced. Everything should be free, but it's not. So fuck it. This is the game. This is the game. And I got to sit here and take a, a short, take an L on purpose, stay in the hood with drugs and prostitution and jealous brothers and sisters to the delight of the Negro who still ain't going to take the time to study. He just want their hand out. Give me a job. Send a donation. Open up a center in the school. Now, nah, fuck that. I still got goals that cost me money. I got goals. What you need to do is invest in some knowledge. That's what you need to do. Do like I did. I didn't go to as much as parties. Do like I did. I cut off friends and family. Now everybody fucking hate me damn near in my family. Except for my uncle who I posted who just made some bread off of what I teach. It's in the Instagram story when you check it out. <laughs> Except for him. And shout out to my sister. I love and adore her. I love my pops too. I love my nephews. I'm just built different. That's all I'm saying. I'm built different. It's called gold in the crisis. That's the one, the stocks class where everybody's making all this money. The new course that you're seeing me do a post for as well. 
that people are making money off of is the Forex trade and cryptocurrency. Just to let you know, brotherpolite.com. It's posted right here. You won't see it, though. But yeah, I had to separate. To be great, I had to separate from people that are good people. I know some good, they're probably killers, right? Or drug dealers, they're probably still drug dealing for I know. But I know some good people that do fucking bad things that I understand. You know, I just know good people who probably are doing bad things that I don't even know what they're doing. But they're great with me. But I still separate myself from them. Because I can't take the risk of being associated with anything. Because when I'm the guy making all the money, then they're going to say that the money that's being used to do the bad things came from the source. The guy who has the money. I'm resourceful at this point. No, 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 no. And they tap back in. Keep coming to the source. Now I'm supplying the weight. I got a Rico charging. You know how funny and tricky conspiracy is? So I, I understand my role in my position. I don't do it. I don't, I don't hang around no guys. Unless they're working for me. Working with me. Towards the same goal. You know why? Because it's not good to keep people around you that's not making as much as money as you by far. Because they'll it'll breed a false sense of entitlement. They'll go through things and it'll be almost expected of you to give them something. Everybody isn't built like that. Most people are. And then now it's dangerous. And the male ego kicks in and then if you have a disagreement, they think you're disagreeing with them and speaking condescending to them because they're thinking about your money. So they think that you think that you're better than them. You disagreeing with them because you would have disagreed with them on the merit of the fact that you think they're wrong, what, no matter what amount of money you have. But there's too much reservations involved and it gets dangerous. So you don't keep people around you that's not making as much as money as you. By far, it's dangerous. You be careful what kind of woman you with. If she got to run her mouth to people whenever she's upset. Because now she's giving people intel about your likes and your dislikes. And that could be used against you to bring you down in the future. And you'll never know where it began from, where it came from. People that talk too much. You don't respond to trolls online because they could be ferreting through to see what can trigger you, what can trigger a response. So it could be used against you as your weakness. So you don't open your mouth, you don't respond to these people. You only let them know as much as you want them to know. You never let them know because it was requested, requested of you by the likes of whom you don't love and support, you don't advocate. You only be contributing to their program for whatever purpose. Their lies. But it is what it is. What do I know? The second I made my bread, I separated. While I was en route to my bread, I separated. I moved away and I just, it was a battle of the wits. I had to see what I was made of. And I'm just telling you guys because I love and I support you guys. And I want to have good times with you good brothers and sisters. When I throw these events and I fly everybody in with the exception of Mayweather damn near, almost everybody else that was at my birthday party, I flew them in on the strength. Just a few people I didn't. Floyd just came in on his own strength. But I like to give people gifts on my birthday. So when my birthday was in August and I did my August entanglement in Bel Air, you know, bars, right? For those of you who know, if you know, you know, you understand. The entendres. I said to myself, I want to celebrate with the people that's been making money. And I want to encourage the behavior. I want them to see a lifestyle. I want them to come to the mansion. I want them to just get a vibe and see themselves there so they don't let up and get content with a few thousand dollars that they made, with a few 10,000 or 15 or 12,000 or 8,000. I want them to have a vision for where they see themselves. I want them to see my happiness and the freedom I had to fly over 30 people into town. And buy everything they would like to eat or drink. We vegan though. And, and get it in. And the thing was it was private. Because it's COVID. I just wanted them to see. And I do things in proper fashion. I got nothing but guns around me. Over 15 guns. Legal. Registered. Bulletproof vests. All that. I felt pretty safe without it. But it's rules to the game. You ain't gonna catch me slipping. Niggas getting clapped fucking with me. I promise you that. Let me get shot. The, the shooter is definitely getting shot on premise. I don't play those type of games. Because I'm aware that there's no refunds on life. You lose money, you can get it back. You lose your life, you don't get it back. So I'm like this, bobbing and weaving every day. Somebody come with a potential problem, I'm not falling for that shit. I'm getting the most out of my experience. I ain't about to be taken out of here because my own ego. 
Oh, he just said something about your children and everything. I'm looking. That nigga might be an agent or some shit. Fuck, he fucking with me for? I'm a teacher. I don't even know him. Why are he going at me like that? Son is crazy. Oh, he's just desperate for money. So he needs some hype. He needs some clout. He don't mind if somebody run down on him, bop him upside his head. And he real G knows never fuck with people who have more money than you by far. Money is always the advantage, the beef. It's a fact to the intelligent man. And, and the man with the money got to consider, yo, he might be an agent. The man with the money has to say he might just be an agent. So what, why he fucking with me? I thought we coming from the streets too. Like, why is he bothering me? I don't know him. You would think he knows me. What are you mad about? I don't know. You ain't going to get me coming out my face talking crazy. Maybe he wants me to get him and then they can hear me setting up the play to get him got. And then the next thing you know, I'm locked up for some shit. For conspiracy. Oh no, let him troll. I'm making too much money to respond to trolls. You kidding? Hey, you want to fight? I offer you 5G. Man, shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> I'm insulted at the price. <laughs> Yo. People think you're dumb. Like, it's crazy. I think so much people fake like they're intelligent that people just start thinking everybody that sounds intelligent is faking. I'm <laughs> not stupid. Yo, troll away. Make every video you could possibly make. See if you get a response from me. I made it out the hood. I ain't supposed to have beef when I start making this money. I don't want these feds running down on me for nothing. Once you make your bread, stop with the bullshit. You move forward, you don't look back. I got nothing to prove. Oh, you would call me pussy and all these other body parts. I don't, yo, knock yourself out. I happen to love pussy. Like, knock yourself out. You just call me something to love. Oh, prove something to the poor people. Yo, you don't let him talk about your wife like that? A real man? Uh, absolutely, because if I get locked up for putting my hands on somebody, or oh, what if he dies by incident? I wanna say accident, there's no accidents in the universe. What if he dies when I put hands on him? What if I get so angry I get my people to run down on me? Somebody gets hurt and it gets out of control. I get locked up. I'm separated from society. This is time out of my existence. I'm gone for 10, 20, 30 years. Out of my existence. Then I got to do the last 10, 20, 30 years of my life. Remembering how I fucked up. <laughs> Those 10, th yo, no, no. Hey, call me whatever name you want to call me. <laughs> call me what you want. I'm spending this money. I'm enjoying myself. You ain't gonna distract me no more. Satan, I rebuke you. This is the way you guys gotta think. Real talk. That shit is for poor people. When I say poor people, I'm talking about poor mentalities. A lot of you guys are wealthy. The riches don't get you the wealth. The wealth gets you the riches. A lot of you guys are wealthy. You just surround yourself with too many people that's poor. Poor mentalities. It's all about psychology. Your psychology could be wealthy, it could be poor. There's a lot of people with poor mentalities. I'm talking to the wealthy minded out there. You know what you're supposed to do, you just ain't been doing it. You know what you're supposed to just study. The best time to prepare for war is during the time of peace. Shit slow down, you're supposed to be in these books, studying how to get out this trap. So when the world go back to normal, things get harder when the world goes back to normal. You've been out of money and opportunity for so long, when shit gets back to normal, it'll never be normal for the people. If you're struggling check to check, when shit get back to normal, you're already behind. The forbearance, the amount of months you didn't have to pay rent, the amount of months that you couldn't pay rent after the amount of months you, you was able and allowed not to pay rent, it's all going to go to hell. Just talking to you. But hey, I'll see you guys in class. My phone about to pass. I, I'll be careful about the words I use. I don't like to say my phone about to die. You know, I don't equate it to my situation. Because I can recharge the phone. I can't recharge my life. So my phone can't die. I can't. So, and I'm presently dying like everyone else. So that being the case, which is who's going to die the best? My goal on planet Earth. And you say, what's my purpose? To master death. That's my purpose. To get the most out of this experience. So I can be filled with life hereafter. It's just another kind of, it's another equation that I would really like to have a conversation with you guys about. But, you know, people would think I'm crazy if I really talk to them. Save this live. I definitely am. So let me get off this right now. Peace and many blessings. I love you guys. Share the video. Let people know what it is. Excerpt portions of this video that you like. Repost it. Share good words. Share truth. Share wisdom. Share knowledge. Share wealth. Share, share good stories. Share advice. Share motivation. 
No more of this trolling stuff going on, killing our people and everything. No more of that. Share positive information. It'll be the wealth of you. Peace and many blessings. I love you guys. I'll see you in class Saturday for the UCC in real estate course, and I'll see you in the holistic mathematics course for Saturday. And then I'll see you guys for the cryptocurrency forex trading course, new course that we got people lit off of. And then, obviously, the golden crisis. Talk to you. Elupful. Perpetual success is all I can wish you.